I'm Kelsey Scroggins with Kind Animal Services, and today we have a young, I think five-month-old uh, German short-haired pointer. Riggs' dad came in looking for help with mostly just basic obedience. He's very young, he's not ready to work birds, but in the near future, he's gonna wanna start using him for hunting. Um, so his main goal is to just get a lot of that foundation obedience in place. Yeah, it's gonna be recall, whoa, which just is basically kind of an emergency stop where the dog is either moving or running or after a bird um, or going the wrong way or whatever it is, but you need them to just pause and then you can redirect or send them off in a different direction to retrieve. Um, and then we're gonna do heel is super important because obviously you can't have your bird dog darting out in front of the gun before you've shot, so we have to do heel. Um, I think those are the three top ones that we're gonna really try to, to create really good, strong behaviors in those three areas. So recall, woe, and heal. Are you ready? I think you're ready. All right, so the recall. Um, to start the recall, I do a hand touch or hand target. And so you can kind of decide what feels comfortable for you, but your hand signal will be either an open palm out towards him, facing like the back of your hand, um, or some people use like a finger sort of signal um, or like a fist. Um, but just whatever you do, keep that, <laughs> keep that um, hand signal consistent. So make that decision on what it is and make sure you're very consistent and clear with this means come or this means come. Do you have a preference off the top of your head? Okay. Ready? Yes, good job. The second that he makes contact with your hand, that's when you're gonna say your yes. You don't have to have the, <laughs> you don't have to have the treat ready to go. Um, that's what the yes is kind of for. It says, I love what you did right here. Now I'm gonna reward you possibly over here. Go high. Yes, good job. Also make sure that you're not pushing your hand into him. Really, like if you hold your hand out, yes, and he doesn't come to it, you know, wiggle your fingers or do something that attracts him, yes. Until he's obviously clicking, which I think it's gonna be really quick. He's smart. Yes, good. Um, he is quick. So my next step would be, since he is so flippin' smart, um, is you can add your word or your verbal cue if you want a verbal cue. Um, you could also start adding in, if you use a whistle, doing it really, really quiet, because you're in close range, so you don't want him to have a loud whistle and then be way out and then have a quiet whistle. And he's gonna go, did I hear it or did I not? Come. Yes. This can also, you know, future just for his life. Um, if you start to kind of do that chin rest thing and you can get him to stand there, I mean, this can help at a vet clinic can help with blood draws, it can help, you know, just help ease him um, in a lot of other settings, because he's a dog and you're gonna have to see vets. You are so flipping cute. Ooh. You got a little tail. Yeah. Try to remember your yes. You missed it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Perfect. And remember whenever you change locations, so if you're working in the living room and you move to the kitchen, um, you will have to restart just a tiny bit to make sure that he doesn't get lazy. Um, every new location you'll have to kind of remind him, like remember, so start really close to him and then before you let him kind of move away from you and then get a little distracted, yeah. Do that little ping ponging back and forth. It might be too much. I just thought we'd try, because he was doing so well. Perfect. And don't worry so much about the collar grabbing yet, because um, he's definitely kind of ducking you a little, and it's just let's just kind of leave it. Especially since we changed the location, we can lower the criteria. Ask a little bit less of him when you first change the location, and then you can build back up. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Come here, Riggs. 
and try? Yes. Come. Yes. And so what I did like about that, yes, is you were creating that training momentum. You went one after another after another, and that's what you want to do. Briggs. Yes. I'm just going to say yes because he was already coming. <laughs> yes. Good job. Come. Yes. Um, I Maybe the reason why he is going away from your hand too is because you are trying to go over his head a little bit. Really remember to go, once he touches, go under his face. Yeah. Dogs don't like the top of their head touched. Just kind of a common, common thing. Ready? Come. Yes. Um, I'm going to give you a few more. We'll go ahead and up it a little bit more. We're in a little more distracting being outside. I'm going to hold him back for just a second. So you're going to go ahead and put your hand down, say come. Get his attention. Come. And I'm just gonna create this tiny, tiny bit of tension right before he gets to you. Come. Perfect. I'm gonna hold him back again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. What did you just find? Hi. Go ahead and call him. Come. Keep calling. Come. <laughs> I don't know how There you go. Sorry. I may have pushed it a little farther right there. Perfect. Go ahead. Yeah. So this time I won't hold him back as bad, but I'm just gonna get his attention. And then I'll drop the leash. All right, go ahead and call him. Come. Woo! And that's what we want to see. Yeah. That looks awesome. Riggs just left, um, and the session went really well. He was a lot calmer than most of his breed, so it was nice uh, to have him just stay focused. He didn't tend to bounce all over the walls, which is known for German short hair pointers. Um, and we worked initially on come or recall because that's gonna be probably the longest training process that he's gonna have to go through. So we thought we'd start it today and we'll continue on through all of his sessions, little bits at a time working on his recall and then adding in some of the other stuff, which will probably he'll pick up a lot faster. Um, so his homework is just to work on coming in and doing hand touches. When you're teaching recall, you want it to be very clear and defined for the dog. What does it mean to come? Um, and in this case, we said it means to make contact with the human. So he has, he has to touch the person. And so we use just a hand, he has to touch his hand. Um, so we define that behavior. And that's his homework is to define that behavior, work it in a lot of environments in really short distances. It's not true a true recall yet. Thanks for watching. Um, we are open for private consultations, maybe classes in the future. So please sign up if you have any questions about basic puppy rearing and or obedience um, up to canine fitness or more behavioral challenges like reactivity or aggression. So reach out, kindanimalservices.com.